Has anyone in this classroom ever wanted to get high? Really high? Well, one day my 10-year-old daughter told me that she did, and that she's been thinking about it for a while. <coughs> but the weirdest thing that she said was that she wanted to learn how to do it from the best, and that if I knew any classes she could take, I was really <laughs> <confused. laughs> about it until I discovered that what she was referring to was aerial. <laughs> As um, they sing by Cirque du Soleil. Yes. Um, so I've taken her to aerial arts classes for about a year now, and um, I've seen her transform from being someone who is pretty um, introverted to being more confident and self assured, and um, it's inspired me to learn more about it. So I want to share that with you today. It's an art form that anyone can enjoy, uh, a spectator like myself or uh, a participant, like my daughter. So today I want to discuss with you, uh, share what aerial arts is, um, some of the tools and poses that are involved, and how it's beneficial and a little bit of the dangers of it. So uh, aerial arts is a um, very graceful art form that entails a series of poses using um, a hammock, silks, and uh, a hoop and um, it incorporates dance and athletics together. Uh, I'd like to talk to you first about silks. And silks are um, two lengths of fabric suspended from the ceiling. Um, a couple of the poses I'm sharing today are, that's my daughter over there um, doing the kites, and this gentleman is doing the crucifix. And the uh, fabric is low stretch for greater control. And um, it's woven uh, three ways, like to be triple and strong, to support the, the artist in their endeavor and their poses. Uh, the second um, device that I'd like to share with you is called the hammock. And the hammock, <laughs> it's the same uh, fabric as the um, silk but it's just one piece looped, and here uh, you see some people doing the pose called the cocoons, two variations of that. And then the third uh, device is called the lyra, and that is a, a metal hoop that um, is wrapped with a grippable tape to help support the, um, the artist. And there's my daughter doing the shooting star, and then also this artist is in the neutral position. Um, it's suspended from the ceiling many times by a, a, a winch, which is just, uh, instead of hoisting it manually, just electronic, you just press a button and you can raise it and lower it uh, to whatever height you want it to be. So now that you have an idea of what aerial arts is um, and what some of the devices and poses are, I'd like to share some of the benefits that um, learners have. As mentioned before, my daughter has gained a lot of confidence um, from boys with this art. Um, it's because when a person takes a risk and goes beyond their comfort zone, um, their confidence levels rise. A physical educator named Laura Warner uh, pointed that out, saying that the uh, learner revels in the accomplishment of stretching beyond their comfort zone. Going through the different poses, being suspended above the ground, focuses Sarah, my daughter, on something other than any kind of personal problem she may be dealing with at the time. This focus is what Beth Breyer, uh, director of dance and circus arts of Tampa Bay, Florida, refers to when she says that aerial arts require a person to engage their mind uh, to control their body. A professional aerial artist, Joel Kendergrass, put it best when she said that the feelings of empowerment and self-reliance that come from completing a skill are just as real as the fitness benefits. She credits aerial arts as a form of therapy for the heart, mind, and soul. So I've shown you what aerial arts are, some of the benefits, and now I'm going to explore a bit of the danger involved. 
obviously if you're suspended above the ground, you're taking a risk, it can be dangerous. Uh, even experienced aerialists uh, can get hurt. There's the example of a seasoned aerialist named Sarah Romanowski, who during a Christmas uh, performance at the Beverly Center fell three stories in front of a um, crowd of people. She was back on her feet and participating though in aerial arts you know, within two months. That illustrates the mindset that most aerial artists have that I come in contact with. And that is that the enjoyment they get from the, this form of art far outweighs any kind of discouragement they may have in um, getting injured or, or, or being afraid of getting hurt. They know the risks, they're well trained, and they know that maintaining proper form will greatly lessen any type of risk of injury. So today I've talked to you about what aerial arts are, some of the tools and poses that are used, and its benefits and some of the dangers. So as you can see, it's a beautiful path that my daughter's take, t uh, taken and helped her, and maybe one day, who knows, I might even give it a try. All right, Anthony, what did you think? Uh, I thought it was really well organized. Her introduction showed her, uh, it was pretty clear her thesis statement. Uh, she gave us a pretty good preview, and the, uh, the attention grabber really worked on me. I mean, I thought was, she was going to go off on marijuana or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was pretty good. Um, the structure of her presentation was really well. I'm not sure I have any uh, constructive criticism. Everything was really good. I was really interested. It's a topic we're all familiar with, but not to that extent. So it was really well. Yeah, something everybody's heard of, but don't, they don't know much about, so the topic selection is good, and she's got a nice personal angle on it as well. I agree with you about the attention device. I thought it worked really well. You could kind of listen to the audience, respond to it, so if you, you know, if you guys watch the speech again, you'll hear yourselves, because, you know, there's kind of a little gasp and a laugh and, you know, a sudden realization that you've been suckered in, which I liked. I thought it worked really well about getting people involved in the speech. Um, all the organizational stuff is really solid. The transitions are very easy to follow. You had good internal summaries when you were moving through the points. All those things were fine. Once in a while I felt like I, I wanted a little bit more detail. Like when you were describing in that first section the different, uh, you know, the, the silks and the lyre and the, all those other issues. The, it seems to me like there's a section missing about, you know, uh, how they uh, perform or the choreography or something about putting together a presentation that I, I just felt like I wanted something else in there. I know that that wasn't really the purpose of your speech, but that, that it felt like there was maybe a, a blank space there that needed something. Uh, I like the way that you kind of related it to your daughter's personal experience and the way uh, it's assisted her. I thought you did a nice job getting some quotes on the material and, and giving us some support on this. I, again, I think maybe a little bit more information here and there about how, how many people participate in this kind of activity or you know, the number of, of schools or places where you go to learn those kinds of things, especially after you set it up at the beginning. Maybe a little bit more information, but those are very minor quibbles. You know, it's, it's mostly I'm saying I want more as opposed to what you gave me wasn't good. It was what you gave me made me want to have something else too. So that, that, and that's a good goal to have. The visuals I thought were integrated pretty well in the speech. I did feel a little bit like um, they're all centered in the first half of the presentation and it might have been nice if there was something else that you distributed at the end. Maybe it's a little quiet. You have a very calm demeanor when you're speaking. I, you know, it actually feels like I am watching Cirque du Soleil up there even though you're not on the silks because it's all very smooth and calm and polished and you seem relaxed. But I, I think maybe a little bit more projection in your voice would help. All right. Thank you.